Today we'll be exploring Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is a web app that can be used to create virtual assignments with video. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking in the pop-up cards in the upper right hand corner. Here's how to get started with Edpuzzle. First, go to edpuzzle.com and sign up with Google. I already have an account, so I'm going to tap login. I tap sign in with Google. Tap my Google account. And it will log me in. Notice on the left hand side, we have all of our content and the school that I've chosen to be a part of. Up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see my settings and how to navigate Edpuzzle. I'm going to start by adding my classes. To add a new class, you just tap Add New Class, and you can import your classes from Google Classroom, or you can create a new class. If you create a new class, you add your name, description, and just tap Classic. Or tap Google Classroom, and all of your classrooms will populate. I'm going to let that run in the background while we look at content. I'm going to search for a video. I could also browse the channels here if I was looking for something specific, or I could search by my curriculum. I already know what video I want, so I search for that one. And you'll notice that Edpuzzle pulls up videos that teachers have already edited. So you see their names here. And then you see a number next to the time. That's how many questions they've added to the, to the video. I want to start from scratch, so I'm going to choose the YouTube link. And then you'll see that I have the option to preview the video. I can go ahead and assign it, I can copy it, or I can edit. So I'm going to tap edit because I want to add questions to make this an assessment. The first option that we get in the edit feature is to cut it. So if your video, you'll see that this one's seven minutes long. If I need it to be a little bit shorter, I can always I can always grab this bar here and make it shorter. You can only cut from the beginning and the end. You also have the option for voiceover. So if there's a part that you think is particularly confusing for students, or if you just need to add something, you can add a voiceover to your video. The most valuable part though for me is the questions. I think that this is really helpful because you can add questions to a video and make it an assessment. So I'm going to start at a specific point. Let's see close here. All right, so I'm going to add an open-ended question here. All right, notice that you have some editing options here. You can also do exponents um, and other language there, and you can add attachments or um, links or images. So there's lots of things that you can add to your questions if need be. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap save to add the question. You'll notice that it adds a little dot right here. That will take me back to my question if I need to edit it or trash can it or add multiple notes or other things to it. Um, I'm going to add one more question just so that you can see what that's like. All right, so I want to add a multiple choice question here. And if I had scrubbed it to pass his um, answers there, I might put A, B, and then write out the answers. Notice you can add multiple choices here. You can add as many as you need to, and then you need to make sure that you mark which one is the right answer. So if B maybe is the right answer, um, 
you could do that, okay? And then I'll hit save. And you notice over here on the left-hand side, all of my questions are populating so I can come back to them and edit if I need to. You can add as many questions as you want. And then once you're finished, you'll just tap finish. Notice down here in the bottom right-hand corner, I get the option to assign this to my class. I can edit, I can duplicate, or I can delete. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap assign. All of my classes from Google Classroom would be populated here and I would just select them. You also can get a link to your Edpuzzle and share it with your students that way, and as well as an embed code. Okay. I'm gonna show you one last thing and that's the grade book. The grade book will populate all of your classes here and after your students finish, you'll have the ability to see how far they've progressed in the videos and you'll be able to see if they skipped past anything. You also have the option to limit whether or not your students are able to skip any content. So make sure you mark that before you assign it. So again, that's how you use Edpuzzle to help create video assignments. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our videos to share or share this playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our resources like the Discast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.